What is up guys, welcome back to the channel wherever you are and another episode of the road to 1400 a month from Affiliate Marketing. It's just been a weekend so I'm going to go over all the stats from the weekend and without further ado let's jump into the computer. So we're going to jump into analytics first and if you've been watching the last episodes you will have known we went down to as low as 400 traffic days. Now I usually get around anywhere between 600 to 700 a day. This was a different day because I basically did a viral post on Reddit because I was like, no, I'm not having these 400 traffic days. We're getting some more traffic to the site. So I went and posted some helpful content to Reddit, went viral. And then I did the same over here again. I posted some more helpful content, it went viral. And as a result, I got a lot of views to my website from social media. Now, as you can see, after that, it's gone all the way back down to 841. And then we were at 640 on Sunday. So it's making its way back down but with the viral posts on Reddit, it does move positions higher. There's a lot of people that say social signals don't work, but if you do them right, they really do work. I've personally used social signals to get me from position three to position one in a Black Friday sale term, which is very, very competitive using solely social signals that were created by myself, not bought ones. The idea of social signals is that you want to get good source social signals. You don't wanna buy them, you wanna create them yourself, creating helpful content for people within your niche. If you create this helpful content, then you'll get the upvotes, you will get the traffic to your website and you'll get people actually engaging with the content and all these metrics add up to a higher position in Google. So yeah, my positions have gone a lot higher and then they've gone back down and they've gone a lot higher again when I've done a viral post and it's kind of just like shifting around. We're generally seeing an upward trend right now, so that's good. We're taking back some positions we lost and we're just slowly going back up again. So we'll check in tomorrow to see if this is any lower. If it is lower, I'm gonna do some more posts and I'm gonna be working on getting some more backlinks. That's another thing I wanna talk about before we go over the money side. Backlinks have been doing pretty well for me. I've done it guys, I've managed to secure two guest posts and I did actually post one the other day which was a 50 DA site and they gave me a no follow link which yeah, it's a bit of stab in the gut. So no follow links, if you don't know, don't pass the link juice. So I won't get any link juice from that DA50 website. I have contacted them to say, look, thank you so much for posting it. I've got to ask, otherwise I'll kick myself if I didn't. How could you possibly turn that no follow link into a do follow link? I'm sure you understand how much it would help me on Google. If not, I completely understand, but like I said, I need to ask this question because I'd kick myself if I didn't. Then I did secure two other guest posts on the same website, which is a DA54 website. They get a total monthly traffic of around 45,000 and they're like a magazine. So they, they post these things in magazines as well. So it's pretty cool. I'm going to get two pieces of content in there, basically tutorial based stuff and links back to my website. Also in this episode, I want to bring in a new factor that we're going to track, which is Google Search Console. And this tracks the amount of clicks I get from the organic search. And as you can see through January, we've been doing pretty well, 400 clicks a day, around 300. And then in February, it just dived. And then it took a nice little bull run back up to Tuesday, where at 444, that was after I did those viral posts on Reddit. So you can see how much social signals actually do affect your rankings. Then we took a dive back down to 398 and it's going back down again. Today, we have a reported click number of around 296 but it doesn't fully update until the next day so I reckon I'll see about 300 plus kick clicks but we'll see. As you can see as well the position has been diving down to about 22.5 and then we're going all the way back up to 17.6. I don't think it'll be 17.6 tomorrow but we'll see. It kind of bounces between around 18 to 20 right now in my current state of the website. If I zoom out over 16 months, you'll see I got up to about 400 clicks in April when I first started this website last year and then it went boom, just all the way down and then Black Friday comes in and bang, we're all the way up to 2000 clicks on the Black Friday day, which is the 27th for them, boom, all that traffic goes. But we're making a steady increase back up to that 400 mark that we hit in April. Obviously, as you can see from what's happening here, we're seeing a nice steady increase of the site. So I'm not too worried about things getting hit right now because in the bigger picture and the general scheme of things, we are seeing 
results. So anyway, enough of that. This stuff interests me. I hope it interests you as well because you're watching. Uh, but let's get on to the money I made. So over on the main affiliate, which has not become the main affiliate this month, we've been doing pretty well again, actually. And as you can see over here in January, we had a couple of sales. It was like two to three sales a day and some gaps. And into February, we kind of slowed down a bit. We had some two day gaps, then a sale, but we're picking up. We're picking it up a bit more. Like these sales are not very high commission. I think the commission I made today on the sales was about eight quid, but still we're seeing some more sales and that is what is good. You want to see these frequent sales coming through in your trends because it means people are following the links from your website and actually converting, which is great. At the moment, we have a conversion rate of 2.3%, which is above the average of a percent in affiliate marketing. Last month, it was around 3.5%, but it's probably because I've lost rankings and, and things like that, but it's just how the game goes. Moving over to Rakuten, we have been cashing in on this, as you can see over the last month. We've been getting some $30 commissions, the breaks, then $30 commissions, then breaks, then a $31 commission there. Now, we haven't seen anything happen over the weekend here. The last one was the 11th, and I think I've lost a position for this particular affiliate that brings in quite a big amount. But yeah, it is what it is. Sales, they come and go, then they come and go. Uh, just need to keep writing the content, keep rising, getting those links and keep going, man. It's all it takes. Then moving over to Fiverr, we've made about $83 total commission this month. We've had a $10 commission, $39.22, then a 12. And then over the last couple of days, we haven't really seen anything come through apart from two registrations on the 14th. It's going really well here. A nice chunk of money from this affiliate. As you can see, my balance is 270 dollars 70 so that's a nice balance to see oh then we go over to this affiliate and i haven't checked this yet guys this is the one that doesn't usually come through for me and we've seen some boop, 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 boop. what is that so we've seen on the 10th of feb a nice seven pound and one pence and a nice nine pound and eighty four pence on the 12th of feb so that's 17 pounds in payouts the wholesale amount was 42 pounds and a conversion rate of 26% this week. Lovely. As you can see, tracked but not approved over here is £79.23. I think that's my total balance. I'm not sure. I haven't had a payout from these guys yet, so we'll see how that works out when it comes through. Over to the next affiliate. There is nothing to report here. It's still the exact same 60. They took nine commissions away, and that was due to refunds and things like that. So, yeah, kind of annoying. C'est la vie. Then over to the next affiliate. We have had no sales come through here, guys. I don't really know what's happening. Like, it's, it's kind of a hit and miss affiliate, and yeah. I mean, we've had 86 clicks, no sales. Is what it is really we'll see some more sales come through it will come through eventually it will moving over to the next one we've seen a total of two dollar commissions this month nothing since the last update so let's just keep going keep pumping out the content and keep it coming through then finally over on affiliately we've made 17 dollars in total nothing come through here on conversions but we've been having around two to one visitors a day don't really promote this one anything that comes through is a plus final thing is ezoic ads and we've been cashing in because we did the viral posts so we've been if you've been watching the series we went from a good two dollars to three dollars to now we're getting about five dollars a day then four dollars all the way up to 13 on that viral post day then the day afterwards where the traffic kind of stays the same but goes down a bit six dollar 25 and if you'll see here if you look closely if i zoom in we have upgraded to azoic premium now azoic premium is something you pay for it's $22 a month, which kind of sucks that they make you pay for it, but it basically gives you access to higher paying ad networks. So if you're not on something like Mediavine or AdThrive and you don't have the traffic to apply for those networks yet, you can basically pay Azoic once they say that you can sign up. Just to clarify that, you have to hit a certain number of requirements for them to allow you to join the premium program because basically the whole concept is that you pay them $22, but you make more than those $22 back a month from using the premium service. So using the premium service will never lose you money. And if it does, they don't don't give it to you basically. So yeah, they contacted me, I upgraded because I just thought, you know what, I want to make more money off my ads. I'm only making about $3 a day. If I'm making $5 here and then upwards, I made about $4.66 yesterday 
from ads and then an extra dollar from premium. Now I've only had premium for the last day or so, so I'm gonna have a look at it, see what it goes like, and then it's a 14 day trial right now, so after the 14 days, I'll make the decision whether it's a good idea. If I make back the $22 in 14 days, then I think I'm just gonna continue this subscription, or if I can see that if I continue the subscription, it will make me back the $22 I've paid for it, then I will continue to use the subscription. It's not ideal having to pay an ad network to access the higher paying ads, which is kind of a downfall of Azoic really, but for the amount of traffic that I'm getting, I can't apply to AdThrive or Mediavine just yet, so it's kind of like a stepping stone to those ad networks. I'll probably do a full video on Azoic Premium soon, basically describing my experience with it and whether it's worth it, so keep an eye out for that. As for today, I woke up late because it was Valentine's yesterday and I was spending a bit of time with my girlfriend, so I was up a bit later than my usual 10pm sharp bedtime. I know, um... I'm such an old man. But nonetheless, we're still gonna get some stuff done. I've got two Pomodoro timers. If you don't know what Pomodoro timers are, it's 25 minutes a session, and then you have a five minute break, and then you do another 25 minutes. So I've got two to three of those to do on writing content. I've got to record this video, record another video for my other channel, then I've got to edit this video, I've got to edit the video for the other channel, and then I'm gonna do some stuff for my business. I'm creating products, basically, for the shop area of my site, which I'm going to incorporate soon because affiliate marketing brings in a lot of money but I can see it's going to decline soon so I need to start selling my own products. Then I'm going to do some trading. I'm going to do all my usual stuff on Instagram. Instagram's going really well. We just broke 300 followers on the other one and the other one about dogs. We're doing a thousand followers right now but I'm just unfollowing all the people that I followed. I was up to about 5,000 following, so it's just been me, like, literally sitting on my phone, just pressing unfollow. And the most annoying thing is, you know the people that have the private, the private thing on their profile? You press unfollow, and then it's like, are you sure you want to unfollow? And it's like, yes, I am sure. Stop popping up every time. I also have been experimenting with Pinterest and I actually got a 14 free day trial from uh, Tailwind. So I'm basically pinning a lot of stuff every day within my niche. I'm doing about 10 pins a day and I'm gonna see how much traffic that brings. Don't know whether Pinterest is a good place for my niche, but I've seen one person do very well on it, so we'll see. Then I gotta email some more blogs to ask about guest posts or inserting links or stuff like that. I'm basically emailing two to three people a day and it's working quite well. I've already secured three guest posts and I think another guy's gonna insert my link pretty soon. I just need to follow up with him. Anyway, that's it. That's the end of this entry. I hope you did enjoy it. It's a bit longer than usual because it's the weekend entry. If you did watch this far, I just wanna say thank you so much. I really do appreciate you watching these videos, but if you could go down and just make my day even more and hit the thumbs up to show me that you like me or hit the thumbs down if you don't like it. Hit the subscribe button if you're new, turn that notification bell on, ding, ding, ding. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. I hope you have an amazing week, guys. See you in a bit.